other traders and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover Euro versus US dollar. I will speak about gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the Euro versus US dollar first. So what we can see here is basically that about 14 days we have a sideways regime, very, very defined trading range on the daily time frame. And we have a resistance at 1.0295 and a support at 1.0900, let's say, 95. And market is right now in the middle of this trading range. So this regime is basically, uh, there is no big money flow and so, so for the short term, swing term opportunities, um, I would like to see the breakout or other resistance or support to confirm for the direction. If the market will start and start to clear and hold above 1.0295, then we can expect at least a retest of the 1.0362, <clears throat> maybe even for the price to back all um, uh, to, to towards the 1.0595. From other side, if market uh, starts uh, to clear low at 1.0100, we have a uh, pivot low and potential downside objective at 0 0.9955. So definitely watch for the breakout uh, of this trading range in order to confirm further direction. If we speak about uh, gold markets, we can basically see that we also have an inside day from Friday. <clears throat> now, if we check where the recent swing low and some recent swing lows on the daily, we can see that the, this area here is actually quite an important resistance area. Last, so Friday was inside day and we have inside day. So if we, it's also a form of the balance. And if we start to clear, let's say 7064, uh, then uh, there is a chance for the price to go to 1752 or even towards the 1739, clearing the high and holding above 1794 can even uh, give us uh, for the rise towards the 1835 or even 1860. If we go down and let's say go to the lower frames like um, a two hour, three hour time frame, we can see there was a we're still building higher lows, but will this be a bear flag or this will be just the start of ABC or some higher lows? It's hard to tell at this stage. This is why um, <clears throat> I will prefer to see the breakout of this inside day. So again, potential for the breakout mode. Speaking of the crude oil, we already had a breakout there and we basically <clears throat> alerted you about this days ago. And since then, market is basically trading this is like a four day of the breakout or fifth day of the breakout, depending on how you watch. And still we didn't test this key swing high from 2021 October. So still uh, 85 is not, uh, we didn't have a test. So there is a still chance for the price to go towards that 85.50 or even if we go lower, let's say towards the 82.50, there is also potential for test of this. Uh, meaningful pullback low from um, January this year. So watch for potential, you know, we had some rally re into the recent um, swing lows, market sold off, and now we're building contraction. So we're building this mini contraction and the breakout um, might be in the play to the downside continuation. We are very close to that. And finally, Bitcoin versus US dollar. We can see basically that this level held pretty good and that overall uh, this consolidation, we just show you this, this was a trading range and we have a breakout this morning. So it seems like that market wants to <clears throat> continue higher. We're still building higher lows. We have this trend line. So it looks like that at least we can revisit the swing high at 24,675. And um, then if we even break that, probably we can go towards the 25,413 or even 28,000 mark. Again, reference point by reference point, upside breakout is active now. That'll be all for this update. Hope that you did enjoy, uh, trade safe as always, and speak to you tomorrow morning.